Today we're going to remove the glove box as well as get to the fuse box and BCM module. Main purpose for this job is to replace the B plus terminal due to car have no crank, no start issue or complete power loss based on recall. Check the description for more information on the recall. Also all of the tools that I'm using will be there as well. First we need to remove the glove box to get to the junction box. We are starting with the bottom cover, two Philip head screws at the front, shift the plate down and remove the wire from the power outlet if you have one. Next is the shock cylinder inside the glove box. Remove the plastic pin at the bottom, then we need to get the fuse box cover off. With two twist knobs, turn them 90 degrees and take it out. Now we can press on right wall and release the drawer. Undo six Philip head screws around the body of the box. At this point we have to remove the cup holder and to get to them just pop the trim cover, use the plastic tool to get under with from the right side and work your way toward the other side. Same story with the screws on a cup holder. I had to remove the trim off due to cup holder being stuck. Also check the video in cars on how to repair them. The driver's side cup holder have broken spring clamp so it has to be disassembled. But the passenger side it simply has the bottom shelf of the groove so you just pop it back and it's fully functional now. At this stage we only need to open and shift down the glove box and remove the reminder of the harness that is clipped on the shell as USB, light and trunk lock button that disable the power to the trunk. Now we're looking on a junction box in a body control module that is underneath. First let's get the BCM out. Mine already been removed and there is no screws but in your case there's gonna be on both sides of the BCM. As far as I remember they are T15. Why I was removing the module? Because I was replacing it since it had issue with the electronics. Check the video in the cards or description. That one is pretty interesting since I'm checking most common issue with the electric system. The two connectors at the front need to be removed first. Then slide the unit out and remove the last clip. It has the clamp that got to be to slide out and that will remove the connector. To the most important part, the fuse box itself. But before we went too far, let's check the B plus wire you can see if it's been replaced. And also if you're replacing it, you will need to remove some trim pieces. As the doorstep, simply start pulling it up from the corner. Some of the clips will stay on the body of the car, so be pretty careful while you're taking them out. I will add those types of rivets in description, in case you break them. Then the L-shaped piece of plastic, same way, just pull it and voila. Now you can roll the carpet and see if you have a black shrink on the red wire. If it's same as mine, that means you have the wire replaced by the dealership or previous owner. I still will remove the junction box because I want to see if there are no corrosion for sure. We have 4020 screws holding the shell. Two hidden at the right side and two is on the left. To get to that one is easier to remove the screw from the AC bracket. In that case you will have more room to get to the one that is hiding behind the wire. Quite tricky, so take your time removing them. All left is to remove all of the clamps that is going to be at the back of the fuse box. Use the pin tool to get to the securing pin and remove them one by one. And the last step is the black cover that covering the B plus cable. If there are no sign of burn connection or melted plastic, mean all good. If it's completely black, you will need to replace it. Usually you have to buy the whole unit since it's almost impossible to remove the wire safely. It will be welded to the connection point. Go to the junkyard or order it online. Also for the B plus repair kit, you will need the hydraulic cramper to replace the piece of wire. I also will include the B plus kit in description. With that, good luck and I hope you will not have any problems with that type of repair.